In today's video, we're going to be talking about the September 14th new moon that we're having in the sign of Virgo. We have five very important things to talk about, about how we can manifest and navigate this moon phase in our favor, how we can make this time work for us, navigate it in a way that helps us. And if you're interested, let's get into five ways. But before we do, I want a quick word from our sponsor. This video is actually sponsored by my Etsy shop. It's restocked with a bunch of new items, new oils for all your spiritual magical needs, dried bay leaves, powders and tools for manifestation, personal readings, and so much more. So head over to my Etsy shop, show some love and support, and I can't wait to see you guys there. So diving right in, we're gonna get into the first way that we're able to manifest with this moon phase in Virgo. Virgo is a very organized sign. It's an energy that really likes to pay attention to detail, know the details, get everything in its correct order, just have everything in its place. So around this time, don't be surprised if you find yourself, um, if you guys hear that, that's my dog howling. You guys hear that? My boyfriend just actually left to run some errands and every time he leaves, my dog howls and I thought I would have a little bit of quiet time to film. That's okay, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but this is, I have my notes here, but this is a time, this new moon phase in Virgo. It's the areas of our life that we have to become a little bit more organized in. So budgeting, taxes, if you guys have been procrastinating taxes or you had a deadline, uh, any, any kind of deadline, uh, like any kind of anything that has a date to it, or you have to be organized in a way where you have to like, you know, when there's everything is chaotic, you can't function properly. Like if your clothes are all over the closet floor and you have to get ready for something, you have to get ready in the morning, you have to find something, you have to dig through all that. It's a lot of wasted time, wasted energy, not to mention all the dust and maybe bugs or whatever can get into your clothes, the dirt and all of that stuff. So organize, organize, organize. And this is the time where you're going to know what it is in your life that you need to organize. For some of us, it's just clothes, just our clothes. <laughs> for some of us, it's our budget. It's our finances. For some of us, it's, it's something in our house. For us, the nearer and nearer that we got to this moon phase, we deep cleaned the entire house. Every single room we uh, spent like two, three days because we work from home. So we're pretty busy as it is. Uh, but we took the time out to do every single room within a matter like span of like two, three days and slowly, 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 our whole house now is deep cleaned and it just feels really nice at the end of it because you accomplish something, everything feels cleaner and it helps push energy. It helps move energy through because when you don't organize something and everything's just sitting there settled and junk and dust and bugs and whatever dirt. Uh, then it's stagnant energy and things kind of just stop. They hold like a standstill. And it actually can go way deeper than that. If it's your closet and if it's just your clothes and those things are like standstill, then it could be like your beauty, you know, people, how people perceive you and things like that. If it, that's where your hoarding or your dirt or your messy area of your house is. If the messy area of your house is in your kitchen, you're gonna notice probably, you know, struggles within your food, your diet, your weight, uh, your health. <clears throat> if your fridge is really, really dirty, has really nasty, old fungus covered foods and like really, really old food, your health, your diet, you know, these specific areas signify specific things in our life. And so we need to keep it clean and keep it organized as much as we can. I know we all get busy, but as much as you can, that makes you feel comfortable. Doesn't, it doesn't just have to be your kitchen or your bedroom. This could be your office, your files, your folders, your computers, your laptops, your wallet, your purse, your office. Well, like it, it could go into many different areas of life. Do you guys hear him howling? Now, the things that we need to plan better in our life, when we get organized, we'll understand what that is or or things and roads will open up and clear up naturally for us to plan those things better. 
And that's what we're going to be focusing on the most around this time. It's planning better, organizing better, just kind of getting our thoughts in order, getting our stuff in order, um, picking up on the slack of things like <clears throat> there was projects across the year that you didn't finish in your house or wherever or however, that you're going to pick those things up again, like projects that were left unfinished, those kinds of things. Um, and a lot of you uh, make your task and to-do list for the rest of your year. This is a really, really good time to do that. Um, just write it down on a piece of paper, on a list, or on your fridge, or somewhere, like in a journal or something. Just your main things to get done by the end of the year. Right? There's a power in writing something down. It's, it's almost like you're creating a spell when you write something down. So this is a really good time to kind of like get all those things organized in your mind and organized in your life of what you want to get accomplished and done before the end of the year because it's going to come by really really fast right we're already into uh september the second way i want to teach you guys how to work with this new moon in virgo is a journal prompt so this is your journal imagine however whatever your journal looks like i'm just using a piece of paper here if you just even have a piece of paper you could use that but what you're going to do is you're going to write five things that you need to analyze in your life. This is a journal prompt for this Virgo new moon. There's a reason that we're doing it five times and five specific things in our life that we need to analyze because the number five right now with this Virgo season is very important and it, it just... It's going to help you get really aligned with this Virgo energy and getting your life organized and like on track and putting those puzzle pieces together, all of that, right? So what you're going to do is date it, right? This is going to be September 14th. So I really like September 14th. 23. I really like to write everything out, like script it out. It's very rare that I get to write in cursive, so I just really love it. I, it's really fun. I learned it in like elementary school, and I was one of the lucky ones because I know nowadays I nobody learns how to write in cursive anymore. So it's really fun. So for me, I just, any chance I can get to write in cursive, I do. And especially when I'm scripting or writing in my journal or diary, uh, I write in cursive as much as I can. But five things you're going to write. So one is I analyze my finances. Okay, two would be the same thing, right? I analyze my relationship or relationships. Three could be what else do you want to analyze in your life, your job. Four could be, I'm just giving four or five examples, um, you know, a place that you love, your home right? Or five is one of your hobbies, right? Uh, analyzing how much you're spending, what, budgeting, or analyzing everything that you need to do. Everything, okay, analyzing everything that you need to do to maintain or sustain this, these things in your life, whatever these five may be. I just listed off the top five of my head for myself. So that is the first, that is not the first one. That's the second way you can manifest with this moon. The third way that I want to teach you guys how to use this full moon in your, this new moon in your favor is to use cash currency of your choice. So if it's a $1 bill, $5, $10, $20, um, or even a bigger currency like I have here, or even if you just want to print something out from Google, I mean, you, you can really get creative with this. Uh, but what you're going to do is take something that represents money, cash currency, whether it's real or you just print it out, that's okay. You're going to need a candle 
This is optional. You don't really need the candle, okay? But this is like an extra boost for this um, moon phase. And then you're going to need valerian. This is what valerian looks like, you guys. It's um, very pungent in its scent and smell. And I don't know, like some people could be very sensitive to it, but this is something that is very, very powerful to use around this moon phase. So what you're going to do, okay, you're going to take this, you're going to pinch it in your fingers, and you're going to put it five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, it's okay if you like you can't really tell five piles. That's okay, but you're gonna do it five times. There's a there's a very powerful meaning to the number of five around this Virgo new moon time, and it really helps to pull a lot of the energy of transformation right now and transformation in the way where it's helping you get your life more organized and situated and stable and just where you feel just stable and safe like in your foundation or your career or your relationship or whatever the case may be but right now we're doing finances and money so you're gonna do this then you're going to take your candle, if you have a candle, if you want to incorporate the candle, you're going to put the candle right on top. Uh, you can engrave your name and your birth date inside the candle. And then if you guys have my money oil, um, you actually get it from my personal batch that I've been working on for a few years. But what you're going to do, uh, if you decide to, this is very optional, is you're going to go ahead Put some of that oil into your candle and if you want maybe like a few drops of valerian in there too and you're gonna light this and don't leave it unattended because of course there's like herbs and money money is paper involved so then you're going to whatever is left over the residue and stuff just bury it somewhere in a tree in, a, in your yard or somewhere uh, in a potted plant or somewhere in your yard and that's it. The fourth way that I want to teach you guys how to use this Virgo full moon in your favor, new moon, I keep saying full moon, new moon in your favor is with a rosemary and mint tea. Now, of course, check with your doctor if you're okay with taking these kinds of herbs in a tea form or cooking with it or however you choose to ingest it. Um, but rosemary and mint tea is to help you focus around this time is to help you spiritually organize your thoughts it corresponds with this virgo energy to just um help you focus and help you get inspired in the areas that you need to help you uh reorganize your priorities like all that stuff organize your mind basically so what I have here is a very, very hot cup of water. <laughs> and then I have here, uh, it's a tea steeper. So you can actually kind of just pluck your rosemary and mint leaves and put it in your tea steeper if you wanted to. And then you just kind of close this and you drop it into your uh, water and then you let it steep for like two, three minutes and it's good to go. You can drink it. What I'm going to do, I kind of just will throw my rosemary in there just like that and this is it's the end of the night I don't feel like plucking the leaves I'm just gonna throw everything in there like like this like if I was camping or if I was somewhere out in the wilderness like this is the same thing I would do just kind of throw everything in there I don't know if that's the right thing to do I don't know if that's appropriate or proper or what but like I just want the flavor in there and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it see for like two, three minutes. I'm going to go drink it and just relax and get into bed. It's the end of the night and I just finished filming, but that's a lot of the Virgo energy too is uh, Virgo energy is very hardworking and detail oriented and you guys like pay attention and around this time you're going to be 
noticing yourself, paying attention to so much more details and things like that, you might find yourself a little bit more tired than usual. So, you know, a nice cup of tea is going to be really good at the end of the night, maybe, or in the middle of the day even, but this is something that will help you at the end of the night or even in the middle of the day because it helps you focus. And if even if your focus is that I just want to get a good night's sleep and rest, or if your focus is I need to just focus on work, whatever your intention is. All right. I hope you guys like this one. And I it, let me know if you guys try it. It's very, very yummy. The fifth and last way that I want to teach you guys how to work with this new moon in Virgo is every new moon or full moon, an area of our body is affected. Oh, by the way, you guys, do you guys like my necklace? I know a lot, I'm going to get a lot of questions on it. Um, this is a mala and it's a very, very beautiful stone. I, this is the first time working with this stone. I love it. I'm in, I'm in love with this. Um, and it has a little crescent moon at the bottom. If you guys are interested, this is going to be available on my Etsy shop very, very soon. I bought a few and I'm going to charge it up on my altar. And then you guys uh, can have the option of purchasing it straight from my altar. I'm going to charge them up and you guys will get to hear like what it's for and everything. I'm very, very excited. This is like one of the new products in the shop. I'm very, very excited for this. But apart from that, uh, this moon phase is about our stomach area. So a lot of our stomach, our gut, our in, like intuitive. We have to, like, I feel like we have two intuitive places. One is our third eye. One is in our gut. Like we feel from these two places. So I feel like right now around this Virgo, a lot of it's going to be gut feeling and you're going to feel a lot of things in the gut and also in your third eye, but more so the gut feeling. A lot of you guys are going to have like gut, gut feelings. Write them all down. You don't need to look into it so much further just yet. Write it down. Whatever gut feelings you have, give it a week, a month and see how the universe presents what that meant to you. Do you guys hear my dog? He misses his daddy so much, even if it's like a 10 minute errand. <laughs> um, bath soaks around this time are gonna be very, very good. Working with paper, anything paper, writing down, journaling, scripting, making vision boards, anything working with paper around this time is going to be very, very good. And it's going to help boost your manifestations further. Uh, and then what else do I want to say? Uh, bowel related issues, make sure that you Take care of those kinds of things, you know, you're pooping right, if you're constipated or anything, make sure that you contact your doctor if you're not able to be pooping and things like that, it's bowel related stuff, take care of that, like laxatives maybe, probiotics, those things are really good, fiber, and drink a lot of water around this time, make sure you're hydrated, um, new moons are a time of like where the moon has disappeared. And I feel like those are a lot of the times that I've noticed in myself and a lot of my clients too, where you need a lot more water intake. Um, and then if you guys are interested, head over to my Patreon because I give smoothie recipes on there. I make smoothies and slushies almost every single day. I've just become fascinated, obsessed, and I try so many different kinds of flavors and I share a lot of them over on my, you hear him? Uh, over on my Patreon, and uh, you guys have been liking it over on Patreon, so if you guys are interested, head over. I also have a book club there. We're about to start the first chapter of the book club. I'm very excited about that, and every week I have a week ahead reading where we get into the predictions of the week ahead and what we need to look forward to, what challenges may be coming up, or what we need to look out for for the rest of the week. So if you guys are interested, that's on Patreon. Uh, but another thing is emotion and stress. So around this Virgo full moon, you know, little, little things might stress you out. So pay attention to your emotional level, your stress level, um, like just try to remain calm and understand this around this time too. Is anything right now around this new moon time, I feel like there could be a really easy fix and a really easy remedy if you just organize and plan and just take just a moment and be like, okay, boop, 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 like bullet print. Like this is a time of like this, 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 boom, boom, boom. 
Like that's Virgo time right now. So if you guys are going through something right now that's emotional or stressful, just remember that. Boom, boom, boom. Write out your list. What needs to happen? What needs to be let go of? What needs to blow? You know what I'm saying? Write your list. It's going to help a lot around this time to get your head organized and get that situation organized as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this and happy, happy new moon in Virgo. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.